how did I get into this crazy hobby? I couldn't help it. When I was a three-year-old kid, I knew the difference between a steam engine and a diesel. And I just all my life have been fascinated by steam locomotives. And so by 1960, about the only place you could find a steam locomotive on a regular basis was right here. And so almost every summer from the time I was a sophomore in college, clear up to the railroad quit running, I was coming here for a week or two every summer taking pictures. Of all my pictures that I'm most proud of, I think is the one of the American Freedom Train just entering Cascade Tunnel. It's actually been on the cover of a calendar. Of my narrow gauge pictures, my favorite picture is the one I have of 498 down here on the flats on its very last run, the very last day of freight service here over the pass. Probably my best picture here is the the one of a double header coming up uh, at Cresco Tank uh, in the fall. One year that every tree in the state turned gold the same week and I have a picture of a double header going by the tank with every tree that you can see that uh, is an aspen or a, a willow or a a poplar or anything like that is gold or yellow or red. And it's just incredible. I must have been standing about right here. The down over sign there. is right down over there. Yeah, I can barely, barely see, see that. And the can't see telegraphone it. shack can't even see the water tower anymore. No. The last time I was here, I could at least see the roof of the water tower. Now even that's hidden. Yeah, my most treasured memory, obviously, would be the 1968 when I was very, very lucky. I was on vacation and just happened to pass through here at the time, the very last train of, of revenue, real real freight train, ran over Cumbres Pass. Back in those days, the railroad usually ran Thursday and Friday. And on a Tuesday, I called the dispatcher in Denver just to see if anything was going to happen that week. And the dispatcher was kind enough to say, yes, uh, there's, a, there's a train, it's tomorrow, get your ass down there, it's the last one. <laughs> Click. <laughs> End of conversations. <laughs> Fabulous. What a, what a scene to be able to see today. So, very, very little change since 1950. Yeah. Or 1930 for that matter. Yeah. The minor difference is the train is red now instead of green. Yeah. And it has an open gun on it, which I think is marvelous. Yeah. But yeah. Passenger train going up the hill, yeah. stopping at Fresco to take water. Yeah. Going on up the hill. Pretty much a classic scene. Yeah. <laughs>